in this video we are going to learn about encapsulation so what is encapsulation encapsulation means enclosing fields and method inside a single graph okay suppose if i am going to take this example shoes okay what are all the variables for shoes the variables are color size and price in java we will say that these variables are field okay and another name is attributes so these are our variables or we can say these are our field or we can say these are our attributes now methods methods means functions with this object our object is shoe with this shoe what all functions we can do we can use it for running we can use it for walking so they are our method now here i use void so i don't need any return statement if i'm using a data type here such as int or string then i need a return statement also so in encapsulation what we do is that we will enclose this field and method inside a single class like a capsule in a capsule suppose think that this capsule is a class and inside that capsule we will enclose our variables and method now let's go to intelj and we can learn more about encapsulation let's open a new project file new project then i'm going to open a project so click on next next and i'm going to name it as um encapsulation demo okay okay opening in this window then in src so click on src right click okay this is a bit so just close that then on src just right click and create a new class okay so click on new and click on java class and here i'm going to name the classes shoes okay now inside this shoes i'm going to create the variables such as string color then int size then int price okay so these are our field or we will say attributes or we will say variables okay now with this shoes what are the functions we can do we can use it for running so that is a method okay and now i am going to make this as void because i don't need any return type if i'm writing any data type here such as int or string then i need a return statement also okay so i'm going to make it as void <clears throat> then instead that i will print what i will print i will print so used for running okay like that i'm going to create one more method void walking okay so this is my second method in that i'm going to print used for walking so what did it i created a class choose and these are our field or variables or attributes and these are our methods now encapsulation means we will enclose this field and method inside a single class so our class is true we will enclose all this field and variable inside a single class okay now i'm going to create one more class so in src i will right click src means source folder right click new java class and i'm going to create a class called flipkart okay and inside that i'm going to create a main method because every java program is going to run from main method now in this flipkart class i'm going to create an object of shoes class shoes okay i'm going to create an object of class shoes in flipkart class so for creating object first of all write the class name class name it is shoes then write the object name i'm going to name it as adidas to be equal to then for creating a new object use the keyword new then call the constructor so put a semicolon now we created the object okay now when i write the object name okay when i write the object name and when i put dot c i'm able to get all the variables such as size price and color and the methods such as running and walking are the two methods we created the other methods such as equal hash for two string all are created by java by default java is given okay but walking and running are the method we created and size price and color are the variables we created in flipkart class we are able to access these variables okay now suppose the user or the programmer need this variable and method to be hidden that means other class should not get these variables or methods directly okay so that what he can do so other class now when i write the object name and put a dot see i am getting all the variables but other class flipkart is another class right so flipkart should not get all the variables and methods name okay so that what i need to do is that i need to use the modifier private see private when i write private as the modifier then i am going to flipkart class and i am going to write the object name and when i put dot see i am not getting the variable color price and size i am getting size and price i am getting but i made the variable color as modifier private so i am not getting that variable here see i am not getting color so if a user need to hide the variables and methods he need to use the modifier private so for all variables i am going to use the modifier private okay now when i go to flipkart class and when i write the object name and put dot c now i am i am not getting any variable such as size price or color so i hide the variable now i am getting the method such as running and walking are the method i created inside class shoes i am getting that method but other class should not get that so what i should do i should make 
So use the modifier i. Okay. For the method also, I'm going to use the modifier i. So for variables and method, I use the modifier i. Now, when I write the object name and put a dot c, I'm not getting the methods. I just walking and running. So Flipkart class is an another class. This class is not able to use any variables or methods that I created in class shoes. So now what I did was I hided the data. So encapsulation is used to hide data, data hiding. Okay. Now, so directly I can't access that variables. But in Flipkart class, I need to get the variables indirectly. Is there any way to get that? Yes, there is a way. That is by using getter and setter method. Okay. For so using getter and setter method, just right click, then click on generate. Okay. Now you can see getter, setter, getter, and setter. To get the values, you can use the getter method. To set the values, you can use setter method. I will show, show you with an example. First of all, I will click on getter method. Okay. So you can select which variable you need. I'm going to select price variable. Okay. If you want, you can select all variables. Or now I'm showing you an example. So I'm going to select price variable. And click on OK. Now see the get method is generated. The method name always start with lowercase letter. And here the data type used is in. So we need a return statement also. So this is a method. What method? Get price method. Okay. Now I'm going to Flipkart class and I wrote the object name. And when I put dot, see, I'm getting the method, get price method. Okay. Now, if the user need to set the price, so Flipkart need to set the price of Adidas shoe. What he need to do? He directly can't access that method. Indirectly, he can do that. In shoes class, he need to create the setter, setter method. So for creating the setter method, just right click, click on generate, then click on setter. Okay. So we need to select which variable we need. I will select price, click on OK. Now the setter method is generated. Okay, so method name always start with the office letter. And here we are not using data type, it is a void, so we don't need any return statement. And it is a parameterized method because inside the bracket we are writing the parameter price. Then we are using this keyword. This keyword is used in order to refer to that object. I, I made a video based on this keyword. Just watch that video why we are using this keyword. Because in order to avoid the ambiguity error, if you don't know why we are using this keyword, just watch that video. Okay. Now we have used the setter method. Now I'm going to click card class. Then I'm going to set the price. Okay. So that added us true. So I write the object name, then put dot. See the method is I'm getting set price. And inside that method, I need to pass parameter in price. I need to pass an integer value. So I'm going to click on set price. Then inside that bracket, we are showing I need to pass a parameter, integer parameter. So I'm going to write two full nine. Okay. So in this method, I set the price of that shoe. And here I am trying to get the price. So let me print that. This is out. This is a short form for system dot out. Then I'm going to print okay. So here I should get the answer as two triple nine. I'm going to get the price. Okay. So I'm going to get the answer as two triple nine. So directly we can't access the variables or method, but by using the getter and setter method in another class, we can access the variables and method. Now we can use instead of uh, selecting the one, selecting only one variable, we can just click on right click and generate, and we can select getter and setter and select all. So we can select all variables and we can use that for getting and setting. See, I'm getting get and setter for all variables. Now, when I go to Flipkart class and I'm going to remove this, and when I write address dot, see, I can set the price, I can get the price, I can get color, I can get size, I can set color, I can set size. So Flipkart class can do everything inside this. But directly they can't access, indirectly they are accessing using get and setter method. So encapsulation is done in order to hide data. So for hiding data, we are using the keyword private. So when you use the keyword private, other classes can't directly access that variables or method, but indirectly they can access them using the get and setter method. Now, one more thing is that instead of the setter method, we can give the condition also. That means if um, size is greater than 10, then only we can set the price. Okay. Like the conditions also we can give. We'll copy this here. And remove the statement. Okay, then we can write else what we can print invalid input. Okay, so when we set the um, size, if it is greater than five, then only we can set like that. We can do that. Means we can set the condition. If size is less than five, it will show invalid input. Let's go to Intel Flipkart class and write Adidas dot so which variable size. Okay, I'm going to set the size. Set size. Click on size and I'm going to give the variable four. Now, if I run the program, I will get an message. What message? It will show you invalid input. See, because we have inside shoes class, inside the center method, we can give conditions also. If size is greater than five, then only size variable will get stored in the size variable. If it is less than five, then it will show invalid input. Like that, conditions also we can give inside the center method. Okay. Okay. In the next video, we can learn about polymorphism.